Johnny Rock Show. Rockin' 101, The Rock Station. 848. The Johnny Rock Show. Waiting for our special guest, horror movie icon, Michael Berryman. Michael Berryman, welcome back to The Johnny Rock Show. May I say, I think we talk every year around this time, and you're such a a talented guy and great guest. Why don't you do this more often? Because uh, you're something. You know what happened? Yeah. <laughs> a couple days ago? A couple days ago. Well, 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 thank you for that. Yes. Uh, well, I pretty much do at the uh, conventions. They go year-round. In the October, of course, we're usually gone every week uh, because it's Halloween month. And I just want to do a shout-out to St. Cloud. Uh, I'm familiar with the Minnesota area. It's beautiful. And isn't St. Cloud famous for a, a mental institution? Yes, that's the Red House that rocks. No, uh, I guess I think they are. We are, <laughs> among other things. Well, look at you. You look at you. You're so so smart. Well, you, I'm not so smart. I was going to say, two days ago, I am sitting around and uh, I, I'm I'm doing what one does when you're home by you know two in the afternoon when you do morning radio. And there on my cable, just starting was something called The Devil's Rejects by Rob Zombie. That I had never seen, and there you were, right in the middle of the movie, huh? <laughs> well, uh, the next time you have an egg or uh, buy a chicken, you'll have a, you'll have a pondering moment. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Well, uh, you know, two minutes ago, I played the original trailer, part of it from the original "The Hills Have Eyes." Was that your first feature? Actually, it was uh, number three. In, in my memoir, which I would like to do a shout out, uh, if you get, it's on Amazon and it's called It's All Good. And it's the story of uh, my life as, uh, and how I was born with birth defects. It happened to be that my dad was a Navy brain surgeon uh, attached to the Marines and he went to Nagasaki and Hiroshima and there becomes my glowing radioactive life. And I, I, um, I tell a story from the child's point of view, the memoir, and I, I arc it all the way through to when I got discovered by George Powell, totally by accident. So I worked one day on Doc Savage, uh, Warner Brothers' George Powell, who did uh, War of the Worlds. I met him, and he goes, ah, you have a face. I want to put your face in my movie, and here's the story. And I go, I love the story. Worked one day, getting ready to uh, go to Alaska and Homestead. I love the, the mountains and all that. And I got a phone call from Michael Douglas's office, and they said, hey, it looks like you've had skull surgery with some lobotomy stars. You could play Ellis in the movie we're doing. And I go, uh, what movie is that? And they go, Cuckoo's Nest. And, of course, I said yes, and after 127 days of uh, learning and, and, and having an incredible uh, life-changing experience. Uh, when I left there, I ran into a gentleman by the name of uh, Wes Craven, and he said, you want to be a cannibal in a, uh, a low-budget horror movie out in the <laughs> desert, 16 millimeter, we're going to rock and roll and kick him? I go, sure. Oh. And w we played it so raw and real. There is one moment in Hills Have Eyes where the, the grandpa, uh, the father is, is going back to the gas station. He's talking to Grandpa Fred, and then he just got through trying to barter uh, with Ruby because, you know, he, he was all out of food. And the father goes, uh, what's all that stuff? And he goes, oh, that's nothing. And how's your family? And he goes, well, they're fine. And he goes, like, like hell they are. There's something you want to know. And then he tells a story about the, the cannibal family, which is related and he goes, so I took a tire iron and I split his face wide open. And the father goes, well, well, how bad was it? You know, and I tell Wes Craven, I go, Wes, that always makes me laugh. <laughs> he goes, yeah, it's a bump in the road. What happens right after that? And I go, well, right after that, oh, never mind. That's <laughs> wow. So he knew how to set you up, that sting. And it was absolutely been a life-changing, uh, wonderful experience because I've had friends for life, Peter Locke, Barry Cohen, um, Janice Blythe, uh, and, and the rest of the gang. And uh, and I met some other uh, members of our family, like, you know, Bill Mosley, Kane Hodder, et cetera. It's been quite a ride. Oh, my God. Yeah, our guest is horror movie icon Michael Berryman. He's also uh, been in an Academy Award-winning Best Picture of the Year, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and... How did you get in the smoking in the boys' room Motley Crue video? 
You know, that's a, that's a great question. Um, I, I've done two videos with, uh, with Van, and when I got the phone call, my agent goes, uh, old school agent, you know, of, of Errol Flynn mustache, what, gray hair, and he goes, hey, kid, I got you a gig. I go, hey, that sounds funny, gig from you. What, what's going on? He goes, you're going to go meet a band on uh, Saturday. They're called Muttley Crewy. I go, I uh, never heard of them. So I get, so I get there, and sure enough, it's, it's the guys. And I wasn't familiar with their music at all, but they were so nice, and they were big fans of the Hills Have Eyes. So the, the, the uh, and weird science, you know. So the, they said, "Come on, let's let, let's do this," and and we did. And uh, they were they were professional, fun, hardworking, talented guys. And one of the funniest things about uh, smoking in the boys' room is that. At the end, when Nikki, uh, uh, Nikki Six reaches in and takes my toupee off and they make that funny little face, yeah. and then I wiggle my ears. <laughs> well, it was very popular for many, for many, many, many months, and one day it aired on MTV and there was no ear wiggle. Thousands and thousands of people phoned in to MTV and said, you got to put the ear wiggle back. Oh. Now, I, this was unbeknownst to me. Uh, a couple of, uh, about a year later, I was doing some voice uh, uh, recording for a film I'd worked on, and the guy in the recording booth said, "Hey, here's my worksheet. I made a copy of it for you, and it says do this, do this, do this. Motley Crue smoking in the boys' room. Ear wiggle, four seconds, reinsert." So I just want to do a shout out and thank you to all the fans because you made somebody put my ear wiggle back in because you thought it was funny. <laughs> Well, you know, from the fans, thank you. You're really, uh, You're really uh, an inspiration. I, I'm telling you, seriously, you uh, you you don't let any uh, disability, if you will, get you down. And you've had a hell of a career and it just keeps going. Uh, plug that book again, Michael. Yes, it's called It's All Good by Michael Berryman. It's available hardback, paperback and Kindle, Amazon. Just go to Amazon, Google it's all good. You'll see the cover. It's a picture of my sister, my father, and me. Um, it's red and black. And it, I invite the reader inside the head of this young boy, me, and you're in a comfortable chair, and you're experiencing his entire life through his eyes and emotionally also. And it's about the boy. It's not about the movie star. You mentioned the, the first three films that I did toward the end. I'll do a biography later. I want to do a voiceover version of it. But uh, uh, some people know, some don't. See, my father was a, a Marine brain surgeon, and he went on a secret mission to Nagasaki and Hiroshima, ground zero. And, of course, he came home very tired. He got, uh, of course, he was radiated, and that's what caused my birth defects. And then, uh, and then he got uh, polio. I was in an iron lung, but he did survive. And the story arcs wonderfully, and I tell everything straight up true. Uh, I don't blow anything out of proportion. And when you read the book, uh, it goes through uh, many ages. Uh, like you'll fall in love with my grandmother. Her name is Sophie. And there's some things that uh, she experienced that I share that you'll really, really enjoy. So if, if, if you if you like to read, um, it's all good on Amazon. I really appreciate the uh, shout-out help. Well, thank you. Have a safe, great Halloween. And I mean it. Come back more often. Michael Berryman, thanks from the Johnny Rock Show, okay? You rock, buddy. The Johnny Rock Show. Rockin' 101. The Rock.